Welcome back to the Perdia series. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a withdrawal. I think the starting balance when I started the series was like 1200 bucks, we're up to 2100 bucks in this account. So a little gain. Uh, let's go ahead and see if their new payout works. If it doesn't, we're gonna do a different video because we're just gonna have to split it up. All right, let's just bring it down to, let's pull out the difference here. My balance brings down to 2000. Submit request. Payout request successfully submitted. You receive a confirmation email shortly. Let's go ahead and check the email. We're pleased to inform you that your payout request of $143 has been successfully received. Here are the details of your request. Requested amount, profit split at 90%. Please note to protect your capital maximum drawdown account has been set to $1,000 for two cents. You continue trading within the drawdown limit. The drawdown will be removed once the payout is fully processed. Our team is now reviewing the request. Thank you for choosing your service. If you have any questions? Special regards, customer support team. Cool. So that was instant, worked. Let's see how long it takes, right? So I'm requesting this at 8.24 p.m. What day is it? It's Tuesday. I've been busy, guys. Been busy. Also, just started another channel called Fifth Floor Studios, which is a channel for this studio. It's literally just BTS stuff and like me talking. So for those of you that want more Forest, there it is. Should be cool. We're gonna do like reviews and stuff like that. So that was a pretty short and to the point video in terms of the, the payouts. I wanted to show that, you know, this works. I'll do a follow up, you know, once it's approved. Let's actually take a look at the market though and talk about what is actually, what trades I took in this account, right? To get it up about $700 or so since the other video. I actually can't remember where this account was at because I've, I've just been kind of trading it specifically for this series, right? So for review, okay. I started out trading, I trade my own account, my main priority, right? Prop firms came into existence, so I started trading props. Obviously, I have a lot of content on prop firms now because that's hot, and I wanna grow my channel as a YouTuber. What? So just keeping it 100 with you guys, that's a fact. Uh, prop firms are a great tool though, so the reason why I've always had a link for Perdia in particular is because of their rules, or really lack thereof, right? They're a good firm, straight to the point, not really hiding too much and they have a clear path to a live account. A live account is essentially a real account. So let me break this down for you. If you're somebody with that doesn't have a ton of money, you can go to Perdia's website, and let's actually just go there to perdia.com, and you can get an account for, let's go to their evaluation section, and the 100K Pro account, $99 a month. Okay, so let's say you don't have thousands of dollars. What this allows you to do is start with a prop firm in a you pass the evaluation, you get a SIM funded, eventually you get a live account. I have the live account, right? So it goes eval, SIM funded, live. A live account is just a real account with real money. So the reason you're able to do withdrawals on a daily basis is because it's a real account. What's cool about this though, is that you don't have to go through a traditional brokerage and put thousands of dollars up, right? That's the shortcut, that's the specialty, okay? Now there are parameters, okay? You have to hit the $6,000 profit target first, you can't go less than $3,000 a drawdown, right? There's all these rules and things that you have to prove yourself as a trader. And eventually you'll end up where I am with a live account. So it's a great path. I love that prop firms exist now. They didn't exist when I started, right? I had to go the hard way, starting an account with literally just a couple hundred bucks and doing a mix of honestly investing and trading and trading my way up to, you know, the account size that I have today, right? It's pretty big. I can tell you guys what it is. So this is a way for you to grow your capital stack. Now, you can do that with a small amount of leverage, okay? If I go to TradingView, I'll use this video as a segue to talk about some of the trades that I've taken recently, okay? So from Friday to Monday, I took a nice overnight short just based off of the daily expectation. So I talk a lot about daily planning. If you are someone who's looking for a, a way to make a couple hundred points with low leverage, right? One m and if you were to take in this trade like I did, I will go ahead and get this tool. If you would have shorted overnight highs, right? Settlement open Friday down to the lows. And if you were perfect in a robot, that's 246 points. Now, one M and Q is $2. So that's $500. Oh, excuse me. So that's $500 with one trade. Okay, now obviously I'm not a robot. I didn't get the entire thing. I actually got, I think 150 out of 250. So I did really freaking good actually. Yeah, I did really good on that trade. So 150 points, that's 300 bucks. I took it with two contracts though, right? So you can do the math, decent trade. So there is opportunity in the market 
without taking high leverage scalps to where you can get paid every day. Now, you don't have to get paid every day. I would say that you could think of it that you could get paid any day. Right, any day where there actually is a setup, where there is a trade, is where you should be looking to trade. You shouldn't sit down at your desk and say, I'm gonna get paid today. There are many days, and this is something I talk about often on, on stream, in our Discord, if you're looking for a trading home, by the way, check out Trade Edge, right? We teach all this stuff, you know, about trading the edges and how to look for these liquidity sweeps. Let's break this down. But nonetheless, yeah, you, on the days where there is opportunity, you certainly can make some money. So the reason why the setup was here is there are key levels, every day, right? So there's overnight, high and low. Let's do high and low. Previous session, high and low. And the opening range, high and low. Now, I, I literally talk about these all the time. I have to reiterate it because I don't think people understand how important they are and the emphasis that I put on them as a trader. Holy crap, I just deleted what I just wrote somehow. So let's put it, let's put it back overnight. <laughs> high and low. Previous high and low, my right, previous session high and low. And so that's the previous session's day high and low, and then the opening range, which is 9.30 to, to 10.30, high and low, okay? Now, these are key. So when you're looking at the daily chart and you're trying to figure out, okay, if we're in an uptrend like we were here, right? We were in an uptrend. We had five days of green. What makes sense? Okay, on Friday, we popped up. We started rounding over. So overnight, they need to go for liquidity, right? The closest downside liquidity is going to be this previous session low here on Friday. Okay, so that's that's a safe target. Second best target would be going down to this naked POC or even this low down here. Okay, if we look at the current session, ask ourselves right now, the market's actually open, right? Pull settlement. We can see that we swept this low and we're bouncing up right here. So let's go ahead and add some more charts here. Let's switch over to ES, see what ES looks like. We'll do some live TA for this video. So I might want to take a trade. See, we bounced here, right? What makes sense as a liquidity target? We have the previous session's POC up here and the high, okay? If you go to the daily on this chart on ES right now, okay, let's see what we did. We had a higher volume doji here, and let's add our session volume profile or visible range volume profile, I should say. Let's see what we get. There is a, a change in the VP up here, right? High, high volume top wick, we swept these previous highs. Okay, it's very common for us to retest some of these wicks. So we're probably gonna come up a bit, eat up some of this wick, and then, you know, with tomorrow being FOMC, we'll see. But we can see that the daily eight is down there. So I would not be surprised if we got a retest of both sides of this doji. And so when you zoom in, if I'm expecting a retest of both sides of this doji, when I zoom in, those four levels that I mentioned, right? are what you should be looking for, for that narrative to play out in the direction that you want it to play out in. So if you're expecting a green day of 500 points, think about the liquidity sweeps to get there. If you're thinking of a red doji day of 250 points, think about the liquidity sweeps to get there, right? That narrative and being able to paint that picture in your mind is how you can speculate uh, within a set of parameters that actually make sense. And ultimately, what you'll end up with is a live account with Pertia where you can pull money out every day. Now, there are a few other firms that will let you achieve this. Again, the reason why I choose Pertia is first and foremost, they gave me a code for 50% off. You can use code FOREST50. This is the best forever deal that I have as an affiliate across all the firms, right? Apex does discounts randomly. They'll do 80, 90% off, but they do it for everybody, right? Pertia, I have this code FOREST50, 50% off. The account's only $100, end of day drawdown, right? There's no trailing. It's super nice. And once you have a live account, right, outside of a daily loss limit, which doesn't blow up the account, right? It just, it just is a, a safety measure. It'll stop you from losing more than that in a day. It'll shut you down for that day. You can do whatever you want. It's a, it's a live account. You could trade news. You can, you know, hold like whatever you want to do, right? So yeah, if you want to get an account with Pertia, go ahead and use my code FORCE50. You want to keep doing videos, see how high we can grow this account. I'm just gonna keep it in my reservoir for now. As it gets a little bit higher, I'll start increasing the leverage as it approaches you know, values where that makes sense. Right now it's a small account, so don't wanna over leverage on it. And I'll just take the payouts as they come. Literally just took $143, which isn't that much, but I'm not really trying to bring the account down right now. Nonetheless, you should probably be subscribed. I've looked at my analytics and a lot of you aren't subscribed to my channel and you watch the videos, which is really weird to me. You could make sure that you see every single video, 
by hitting the subscribe button. If you're looking on how to do this, okay, I'm a seven figure trader. I've made over seven figures in the markets. I've been doing this for a while. Uh, I enjoy teaching people, right? Helping people realize their goals is one of my primary passions. I love getting people excited. Also love holding people accountable. If that sounds fun to you, hit me up because I promise you I will. Nonetheless, see you in the next video. Peace.